Hey guys, welcome to the video. My name's Hugh and I'm from Home Network Solutions and today I'm going to be comparing these two access points. I've got the Ubiquiti Unify U6 Plus and I've got the HPE Networking Instant on AP21. This is a new access point so I'm quite excited to have a look at this. Um, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the specs, the setup and then finally we're going to speed test them to see how they compare. Let's just take a quick look at these access points before we look at the specs. So this is the U6 Plus, I'll try and get the shine off that. So it's a very nice looking access point. It's uh, pretty slow profile. You've got a little bit here so you can get a cable through it if you need to bring it in that way. Otherwise it comes in on the back here um, and it just mounts onto a kind of plastic bracket which brings it nice and flush. The Aruba is, just for size comparison, almost the same size as Ubiquiti. It looks slightly different. There's no Aruba anymore, I shouldn't have called it Aruba, it's HP Networking Instant On now. Um, it just says Instant On in the front and I think this bit is probably going to say some sort of HPE thing in the future but I'm not sure. We've got status lights at the bottom. It's a little bit fatter than Ubiquiti and the other thing about this access point, sorry I'll just show you these ports on the back here. It is able to be mains powered this as well, you can just use a, um, a like a adapter for it. It doesn't come with the access point, you have to buy it separately, but it can also be powered by PoE. So it's got two options there for power, whereas Ubiquiti is just PoE. Okay, so let's get on to the specs. Okay, so we've got the AP21 on one side and the U6 Plus on the other side. Uh, these are taken directly from the manufacturer's websites, hence the sort of different formats. Um, I just want to say before we go any further that this is not an entirely fair comparison. The U6 Plus is more comparable to the AP22 rather than the AP21. The AP21 is designed for smaller uh, deployments, which is what it says here. It's kind of single room or homes, you know, small spaces. And uh, it is uh, reflected in the cost. It's cheaper than the AP22. So let's go on. So we've got uh, the recommended number of active devices or number of clients connecting. So we've got 50 here. I quite like the fact that Aruba are quite realistic with these figures. I think 50 is a perfect number. The U6 Plus, they say 300 plus, which seems a little bit optimistic. Um, the next bit we've got is the two times two. So these both these access points are two times two. And then the thing I really want to draw your attention to here, which is the primary difference between the U6 Plus and the AP21, is the fact that the U6 Plus is a completely Wi-Fi 6 device. So the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz are both Wi-Fi 6. On the AP21, we've just got Wi-Fi 6 on uh, the 5 gigahertz. The 2.4 is not Wi-Fi 6. And that will be reflected in the 2.4 performance but again if you're just going to be using it in a single room then most of your devices are going to be on 5 gigahertz anyway right and then the last thing I want to look at is just the power we've got 10.9 watts maximum draw um, and obviously you can also use the adapter as well with this access point um, the U6 plus is pretty good on power actually only 9 watts okay so that's the specs pretty much covered let's go on to the next part Next we're going to go to setup. I just quickly want to talk about the setup and the difference between these two devices before we go any further. So let's just talk about the HPE networking instant on AP21 first. This is slightly confusing because HPE are in the process of rebranding this product. So they still use the Aruba instant on app, but this is a HPE networking product. So it's a little bit confusing, but basically it is a Ruby. You can think of it as a Ruby instant on, but it's going to change. And I imagine they'll change the app soon. You can only set these up with the Aruba instant on app. And the way that that works is essentially they've got their own servers and you are connecting that to the servers and you've got your own sites on there. And you can have lots of sites. I've got loads of Aruba sites. Um, and basically it's all done for you. All the updates done for you all the like any kind of maintenance is done for you so that is all done by Aruba and it's on their own servers so you don't have to think about anything you just have the app and the access point and you're done next we've got Ubiquiti Ubiquiti is a little bit different okay there's several ways that you can set up Ubiquiti okay so I'll just briefly cover those and you probably heard of things like dream machines dream machines are basically a router or a gateway and they've got controller software in them that's the software that's required to set these access points up you can also have it on devices like cloud keys, which are basically little computers that run the controller software required for these access points. You can also run the software on things like PCs, or in our case, we use servers, and essentially the controller software is hosted there. 
The final way of doing it, which is the way that I'm gonna do it today, is what's called standalone mode. And essentially there, you don't have a centralized controller. You're just setting the access point up on its own. It doesn't know about any other access points or anything like that. It's just set up as a single access point. That's not the best way to set it up in my opinion, but that's what I'm gonna to do today because it's the easiest way to do it. So if you're just gonna deploy one or two access points, that might be how you do it. And it's quite a fair comparison. We'll just quickly do it on the app and we can see how these devices perform. Okay, so once you've downloaded the Aruba Instant On app, you need to create an account, which is fairly simple. You just put your email address in and then you'll get a confirmation and that is it. Then you can sign in on the app and start to set up a new site. Setting up a new site is really simple. You just need to follow through on the steps and then you'll be ready to add the access point. And you can do that by scanning the serial number on the back of the access point. Okay, so once you've scanned it, you can add that device and it will start to set it up. First, it's gonna ask us for the Wi-Fi details, which we can just put in here. I'm just gonna use YouTube and a simple password. And then once we've done that, it will just ask a couple more details, site name, etc. You can rename the site name if you want to. And then you'll be able to view your site. So this is what the Aruba app looks like. You've got a few bits here. If we just tap on our devices, you can see the access point we just set up and that's just synchronizing. So it's applying the latest firmware, etc. Then if we go into here, we can see our Wi-Fi that we created and we can make some changes to that. I'm actually gonna change this now to be, uh, we're gonna put on WPA3 first. And the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down and I'm going to turn off the 2.4 so we're just operating on 5 gigahertz and this is for the speed test i'm going to do the same on the unify as well so once you've done that just come back press done and then that will save that change and we are ready to go okay so once you've downloaded the unify app make sure you're on the same wi-fi or the same network as your unify access point and you'll find the access point on the app just select it and then you'll connect it will ask if you want to add it to a server if you've got one if not you're just going to put it in standalone mode like i am here i will give it a name and that can be anything you want that's just an alias basically then we're going to set up the wi-fi off screen i'm also changing this to five gigahertz only and that's just to make it fairer for the speed tests so we'll give that a nice simple password and now we're setting up obviously sped this bit up We'll connect to the Wi-Fi and we will be good to go. All right, done. Okay, so now we set them up, we're ready to do speed tests. I just wanna say, there is plenty more configuration on these access points on both of them and it is possible to get better speeds out of them by tweaking bits and pieces. Exactly how you do that will depend on your environment, on what's going on, how much interference there is, etc. But a good example would be increasing channel width and I've got a video on that which I'll put up in the corner now. So let's get on with the speed test and see how they get on. Okay, so we've tested both these access points on the five gigahertz and we can see the speed tests are pretty similar. We've not tweaked them in any way. There is certainly opportunity to get more out of them, but this is just the kind of out of the box, easy setup for your everyday user. So which one is right for you? Well, I think if you're gonna be doing a kind of uh, smaller deployment and you want a very reliable product, then the AP21 is a great choice. If you're doing something a little bit bigger or you want a bit more performance out of your access point, then you should consider the U6 Plus. But honestly, they are both excellent products and I recommend them both. So uh, yeah, I hope you found this video useful. Please do subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.